Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be dyeing my hair while telling you guys a little story time. I figured, you know, kill two birds, one stone, you know what I mean? So might as well take you guys through my little hair journey. I figured it'd be like a fun little video so you guys could see me transform my hair from this to ta -da! that. <laughs> um, it's that color. Or at least I'm hoping it's going to be that color. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm hoping that you guys can see more or less. But so I'm just going to start by um, splitting my hair in the middle. Um, I've dyed my hair plenty of times before. So believe me, this is not my first go around. But so anyway, so my story time for today that I decided to share with y'all is a time where I was working at a baseball place called Big League Dreams and I've had a lot of experience experiences with um with people and 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 things happening at BLD um and I, I have a lot to share on a story time video with you guys like a lot of stories so those will be, you know, coming later on at some point. But um, this one is going to be one of those times um, that I had while working at this um, baseball uh, company. So because I'm mostly focused on the story time, you guys, I'm not going to be trying to walk you step by step on my hair, um, my hair dyeing and stuff. This is mainly for fun and this is mainly just to entertain you guys. But anyway, so... BLD, hopefully you guys can hear me while I'm taking these things off. Um, at BLD, um, there was not just baseball, but there's an area in the um, in the field where you could also play soccer. So you had baseball players there, and you also had soccer players, and. Um, Again, this was during the time, you know, I was single and, um, you know, ready to mingle. <laughs> and uh, I was just, you know, flirting with all kinds of people. Okay, I'm not a hoe. I'm just saying that, like, I would flirt, you know what I mean? The harmless flirtationness. This one is a particular story about a particular guy um, who played soccer. I do believe that this guy's thing was to always flirt with women. Um, I think it was like something that he liked doing, but um, he would only flirt with a particular amount of women. He wasn't flirting with like every girl, right? And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, okay? I'm not trying to say like, oh, I was something special. But I was just saying from what I observed, this guy was uh, not flirting with everyone, but he would flirt. He would flirt with quite a few women. So I was about 20, 20 years old. Yeah, about 20, no, 21, because I was able to finally go to a bar. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I was, I was tw like 21 years old. Um, this guy was a soccer player, so... I have seen him plenty of times uh, at my work. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just, I don't know if I'm the greatest at multitasking. So hopefully the story makes sense to you guys. If not, um, please forgive me or um, come caca. So anyway, <laughs> I had seen this guy plenty of times before. And um, he would always come in with a particular... Uh, group. I want to say he was about, I think he was like in his 40s, like early 40s though, like 42, maybe 41, um, maybe 43. But this guy was really handsome. <laughs> um, he was really tall. Like literally when you picture tall, dark, and handsome, this guy was that. I mean, he was cute, handsome, sorry. He was handsome, um, you know, he had like a really nice body, like muscles and just, he was fine girl, he was fine, okay? That's what caught my attention. 
<laughs> you know, as a little, as, as, as a, as a youngin, you know, I was very interested in him, though I never flirted with him, I never, you know, I was just very professional, I was very cordial, I was very nice, you know, while at work, whenever I would engage with him, whenever I would talk to him. Um, so I'm looking down here because I'm mixing all the, the formulas together, just so you guys know. There were plenty of times where, you know, he would come around and, you know, give me compliments. He would tell me things like, you know, oh, you know, I think you're really pretty or, you know, you're very beautiful and this and this and that. And he had asked me my age, I think, before um, and stuff like that. So this was like ongoing for, I think, a good while, like months where I would talk to him and again just it wasn't anything ever crazy he would just compliment me and girl I was fucking tickled pink okay <laughs> because whenever he would compliment me I was just like so you know I was so flattered because you know he was a really cute guy a lot of girls liked him a lot of girls had a crush on him too and they would all agree like he's just a really you know handsome he was a really handsome guy after a while of you know little mild flirtation here and there blah 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 like i said like when he would tell me these things i would never really flirt with him back i wouldn't be like oh i think you're real cute too or anything like that um i would just tell him things like oh you know thank you blah blah, blah you know whatever getting to the date part okay we're gonna get to the dating part um, one day, um, I was just at work doing my normal, normal, um, you know, cashiering, serving situation. Um, cause I was a cashier. I don't know if I said that, but I was a cashier at this job. So I would serve them beers, um, and then, you know, their food or whatever, you know, not a bartender, I was just able to serve beer. So then, one night, doing my, you know, cashiering stuff, being at work, they got done out of their soccer game. Um, they came in, did the usual, you know, routine, getting their beers, getting their food. Then, you know, it was about closing time, and then he had, uh, you know, called me over, um, asked me how my night was going, you know, just making small conversation. Um, he asked me casually uh, for my number. And I was just like, oh, what you want my number for, boo? And, <laughs> um, and he was just like, oh, you know, just, you know, just to text you sometime and, you know, maybe see if I can, you know, we can, we can go out one, one night. And I was like, like, yeah, <laughs> duh. <clears throat> I'm just sectioning off my hair now. I let him, you know, have my number. It literally took maybe like, I don't know, maybe like two, maybe three weeks, okay, for this guy to finally, you know, try to, you know, try to hang out and, you know, meet up. So where he suggested to go was this bar. Um, it's called, let me see, it's called The Hood. I believe and um, I had only been there maybe like twice um, you know because again I was newly um, you know fresh in my tw in my 21 so I hadn't been to a lot of bars but I had been you know to this one since there's not a lot of product I think I'm just gonna focus mainly on the light parts of my hair um, so that way I'm not too stressed over trying to cover my whole head. So I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> just so in case you see me and you're just like, oh, you're missing your the roots and all that stuff. When he texted me, I was finally just like, yes, girl, like finally. Like you just signed to freaking text me after like, you know, a whole millennium goes by. The days leading ahead, I was getting really excited. I started thinking about, you know, the main reason why I wanted and I said yes to this guy was because of his age. And I know that sounds funny, 
but it's because I really wanted to see what dating an older guy would be like because I thought, you know, older guys would be a little bit more established. Like, I think a lot of us have that notion, that idea that, um, that older men, I think as we're like younger, like as younger girls, we're thinking that older guys are going to be like more mature. They're going to know what they want and, you know, all these things. And this is why I'm telling the story because I'm here to let you know that ain't the case. Okay. Well, the day comes, I'm getting ready. I'm trying to find what to wear. Um, I'm trying to look my bestest, you know, I'm trying to look real cute. I'm trying to look mature. <laughs> I'm trying to look like, you know, I'm trying to look like a girl that he would really want. You know what I mean? I texted him to let him know, obviously, that, you know, I was on my way, you know, yada, yada. He was like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be there, um, you know, by the time that you get there. And I was like, okay, cool. And I'm like so excited and, you know, just ready to like actually get to know him, see what he's about, um, ready to see what he has to offer your girl. <laughs> and uh, ready to see what that thing thing all about, you know? <laughs> and of course, obviously, I wasn't gonna be, I wasn't gonna do nothing on the first night. No, come on. Um, I had a little bit more self respect than that. But you know, I was just like, dang. I but don't get me wrong, girl. Okay, let's not get it twisted. Did I think about it? Hell to the yeah, I thought about it. I was just like, look, like I ain't never been with an older man, especially you know a guy that was like fine like him. I was just like. Girl, if he wanted, he can get it, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I better stop. Um, so I finally got there. I texted him, hey, like, I'm here. He was like, oh, he's like, yeah, I'm already inside and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. You know, I'm thinking that he would have been somewhat of a gentleman. Maybe, you know, come meet me outside. Make sure. It was dark, you know, so make sure that, you know, I got in okay something you know maybe that's expecting too much but whatever like I just thought maybe he'd be a little bit more like gentlemany but you know that's what expectations get you girl okay I come up to him and you know I tell him I was just like oh hey you know I see him gave him a little hug I think I asked him so like what are you drinking because he had already ordered himself a drink and I was just like, oh, so, like, what are you drinking? And he was just like, oh, you know, I just got a beer or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, didn't offer me anything. It didn't ask, you know, if I wanted a drink or if he would, you know, he could buy me a drink, whatever. None of that. And so I was just like, you know, again, maybe expectations, but whatever. So I'm sitting there just like... You know, thinking, you know, okay, like, you know, this is where it starts. Like, we're going to have a good time. We're going to start, you know, conversing. And, you know, now I'm going to start getting to know him and blah, blah, blah. He legit was just the whole time mainly talking to the bartender. Yes. Mainly talking to the bartender, girl. And, you know, so I was getting a little... I was just a little irritated because I was just like, you know, I thought, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? What's the point in asking me out to come out if you're just going to kind of, like, ignore me the whole time and you're just going to be talking to the bartender? Now, don't get it twisted. There was once in a while where he would have a conversation with me or he would ask me a question or two, kind of. But to be honest, I was mainly the one asking him the questions. I was mainly the one, you know, asking him um, about his life, asking him, like, so outside of, you know, soccer, like, what else does he like to do, blah, blah, blah. And he goes on and tells me that he mainly likes to just be at home and chill and just smoke weed. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm not one against, you know, people wanting to, you know, smoke a little Mary Jane, if that's what you want to do, get you a little ganja, if that's what you want, if that's your preferred activity, but 
what else you do? You know, come to find out that this boy doesn't do nothing. He doesn't do nothing, or I should have said man, not even a man. This boy, <laughs> um, I got it right the first time, um, doesn't do nothing but smoke weed and chill at home, and that's it. And I was just like, okay. Then comes to having conversations about, you know, life and, you know, trying to, you know, see where his headspace is at. This boy ain't got a shred or lick of good advice for nothing. Like, I would think that he'd have some sort of wisdom to him. You know, I thought that he was going to have, you know, something smart to say, something intelligible to say. Not expecting him to be fucking, you know, Einstein or anything. But, you know, expecting him to drop like a, you know, a, you know, a good piece of advice here or there, you know. Um, but nothing. And I was just like, you're telling me that my 21-year-old ass is more experienced than you? And he just seems so, like, close-minded. Just any conversation that I would bring up with him was just... It just not, not it, just not it. Like, it just felt so dry. And again, his focus mainly seemed to be one, on his drinking, and two, on everyone else, like the bartender and whatever. I'm just sitting there trying to, you know, hold the conversation with him as best as I can while trying not to feel, you know, ignored. Girl is beating a dead horse at this point. Like, it's just not going anywhere. Like, I can't keep him entertained enough, you know? And I had nothing in common with him. Like, zero. Nothing in common. I tried. I tried really hard to, you know, find something in common. But there was nothing. I could get nothing out of him. Um, my expectations obviously probably ruined it for me because, like I said, I was just hoping that he would be, like, a good guy because he seemed nice, you know? And he seemed, I think, even more talkative at work or while I was at work than he did, you know, here. So I just felt like, did I do something wrong or... You know, did I all of a sudden, like, did I not meet, like, his expectations or something? I just kept thinking about it. I was just like, why is he, like, so not what I thought he'd be? And why is he so, like, just ignoring me and, you know, stuff like that. So I felt like, you know, maybe I, I it was me. Maybe he wasn't, maybe he wasn't as attracted to me as, you know, he thought thought he would be or something like that which is a possibility I'm not gonna lie my phone's about to die I need to hurry up I just felt like I was regretting coming there you know I just felt like I was regretting even showing up because it just seemed like it was a waste of time I felt like I was wasting his time just being there because I'm like you know he's giving me that energy of like not really wanting to talk so I'm give, I'm now giving the same energy back, you know, because I'm like, there's only so much that I can, you know, say to you until I start to get the hint that, like, you know, you ain't, we ain't here, we ain't, you know, meeting eye to eye. This, you know, date is going nowhere. <laughs> um, so, you know, the night finally comes to an end. Um, you know, I tell him, well, you know, was thank you for inviting me out. You know, I had a nice time, even though I was fucking lying. Just, you know, getting it over with. And, you know, he told me the same. He was just like, yeah, he's like, thanks for coming now, you know. Uh, it was cool, and, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you again soon, or, you know, sometime soon, or I'll see you at work. I think I only texted him one time, too, after that. Um and uh just to check up on him to see if you know just to see if anything changed <laughs> girl because i'm telling you i had a hard time letting that one go because i was just like damn but like why he gotta be so fine like why he gotta be so cute but so dumb 
you know i was just so uh sad that like it just wasn't it so like i don't know i i think i just kept hoping that like i think i kept just like hoping that it was gonna be something and it just wasn't so like he would text me back and but you know like i said after that one time of i think texting it just went back to just like never hearing from him again and then um just yeah just seeing him at work and just letting it be i think once i caught the feeling that okay like no this is really not what it is like it was just over um then i let it be and that was it i didn't try any harder i didn't try anymore age definitely is kind of nothing but a number um when it comes to uh i think maturity since my camera is dying i'm just gonna end it right here but i will show you um probably a quick little video oh my god i really need to wipe my face um, I'm going to show you a quick little video of how my hair turned out. I will see you guys when my hair is finally complete. Okay guys, here's the reveal. I'm going to show you really quick what it looks like wet. If you want to see like what it looks like styled and dried, probably go to my Instagram because I might have photos on there. Um, but if not, um, I might enter a photo in here um it's gonna be my first time seeing it too i didn't do it just yet because i wanted to wait for y'all because my camera died and i had to charge it so here goes the review <sighs> oh my god okay my hair is officially black oh my gosh don't mind my makeup, it's like most of it wiped off in the in the shower while I was taking a shower. I'm kind of glad to be back as a as an official like brunette again. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time, like I said. Anyway, so I hope you guys like my hair. I love you guys so much. Please stay safe out there and take care. And I will see you guys in my next story time video or whatever video I upload. Love you. Bye.